for me. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. What do, we, uh, what do you make of Manel Cape as an opponent? What's his strengths compared to yours, and, and how do you see the fight playing out with each other? Uh, I mean, I feel like it's a pretty in fight. If anything, he has advantage on the, I will say, striking, maybe power. Uh, he has more knockouts, obviously. Um, I think my wrestling is better than his. Um, I feel like it's a fun fight for the division, a fun fight for me and for the fans. Uh, you know, obviously, some people may not know him, but I've known him for a long time, watched him in other organizations, so I'm, I'm excited for the challenge. He came out here today and said that his weight's on point, he's feeling really good, but do you watch Friday morning and sort of think, well, I, I, he might make weight, but I'm curious how he looks on those scales? Nah, I'm not too worried about it, you know, um, I've been in... Both sides, you know, someone miss weight on me, I miss weight on people, and uh, sometimes you just can't control things, so if he makes weight, great. If he doesn't, great. We're going to still have a fight. What sort of style do you think you're expecting from him? Is it, do you think he's going to come out aggressively, or do you think he's going to worry about the wrestling and kind of try and predict a takedown? Um, obviously, after watching my last fight, I'm probably thinking he's going to come out try to blitz me. Uh, I can honestly say Pantoja was the first guy that's actually ran through me like that. Mm -hmm. You know, Davidson fight, I mean, was... I mean, too, too early to say who was winning that fight, you know what I mean? I got, he threw a, threw a guillotine, got me, and then Benavides' fight was back and forth until we collided ahead. So um, if, if I'm looking at it as if someone's going to you know, get ready to fight me, I would say he's going to come out and blitz me. So do you already have a counter plan in mind if that starts to happen? Just stay calm and do my thing. You, know? you, really, you can practice all that stuff, but once you're in there, it kind of it takes over. We've only seen you uh, fight once since you fought for the title in 2020. Um, can you explain what sort of these uh, last, like, two and a half, three years have been like? Why, why haven't we seen you as active? Um, injuries and then obviously the whole COVID thing. Uh, you know, I, I believe I was scheduled to fight with uh, Chanel like three or four times. And like two, three weeks before the fight, something happened, whether he got COVID, I got COVID one time, you know, things like that. It was just kind of like nonstop for me, you know. I uh, just kind of kind of have to go with it. I would love to be more active, you know, and then obviously injuries because during the time I was still helping my teammates train and stuff like that. I would still get banged up. So just a little bit of everything, you know, life kind of came in, came to, uh, uh, you know, my son was born and stuff like that. So I wanted to take some time off and, you know, get spend some time with him. So, yeah, I mean, I'm excited to be back. Yeah. Are you looking to be more active moving forward? Oh, uh, yeah, you know, I like, I mean, my first year in Zufa, I think I fought five times. Uh, you know, in the regional scene, I was fighting five, six times a year. You know, I would like to fight three, four times a year if uh, I'm allowed to. Yeah. I'm sure the belt is obviously still the goal, so, it, you know, it's in, in many fighters' eyes. Um, how fast do you want to get there? Do you want to get fast track and get in as many fights? Do you want to take your time? Um, to me, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to do my part. You know, that's the matchmaker's decision. I'm just going to do my part, go out there, keep winning fights, and go from there. Yeah. And uh, we saw earlier this year the first uh, quadrology, right? I believe that's how you say it. Uh, close out. Uh, and that was obviously in the flyweight division. Davidson Figueiredo and Brandon Moreno. Just your overall thoughts on the rivalry and, and what did you make of it? I think it was a good rivalry, you know. Um, to me, it really didn't matter what really happened because... I wasn't in the title picture, so for me it was kind of great because then I got to, like I said, I got to fight Pantoja. Uh, you know, I had all opportunities to fight Kai and stuff like that just because the division was being held up, and obviously my name wasn't in the title picture, so I wasn't too really worried about it. I'm glad it's over, glad uh, to get new challenges, challengers for that title, and uh, hopefully I'm there soon. Yeah. Are you almost glad that you weren't in, in that uh, title picture at the time because, you know, <laughs> You could have been like Mentoja or maybe somebody else that had to wait, had to take other fights. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, like I said, you know, my last fight against Pantoja, um, you know what I mean? If I would have won that fight, I could have been right there, you know, fighting for the title next. Like, to take a fight, for Pantoja to take a fight was, I mean, it's 50-50. You don't know what's going to happen in the fight, you know? He came out on top. He won, which was great for him, you know, but... It's a, you know, it's a risk you take, and uh, like I said, it would been, I would have sucked to be in that position. Obviously, you can't sit out forever either. It's like, you know, I'm not too sure other people's situations, but most people don't work a full time job. You know, they usually do it part time, do private lessons, stuff like that. So, you know, what I mean, that was a good thing about being in my shoes.